welcome to Northern Geek Life. I am of course your host Chris and it is again a Sunday evening and it can only mean one thing here on the channel. It is time for another story. Now in this episode we are going back to the beginning of the animosities between the Kree and the Skrull, the original Kree Skrull War. Now in the previous episode we talked about the Skrulls, how they came to be and that they were a peaceful race bent on exploration and trade with other planets and other cultures and civilizations. Now it was in this capacity that they discovered the planet of Hala where there were two inhabitants the warlike and barbaric Kree and the more peaceful and docile Kotati. The Skrull delegation coming to Hala decided that only one of these two species could represent the planet in the Kree Empire. Now both of these cultures would be allowed to live and thrive, however a representative of only one faction would represent the interests of Hala. The delegation proposed a contest of sorts. 17 individuals from each of these two races, the Kree and the Kotati, were transported to an abandoned planetoid where they needed to prove their word to the Skrulls. Now the Kree were transported to Earth's moon where they built a giant city, a beautiful city. The Kotati on the other hand were transported to another solar system where they built a park on their deserted planetoid. It was a beautiful park where they cultivated many different plants and wildlife. When the Kree got wind of this, they assumed that the Kotati would win the Skrull's favor. And their answer, being a barbaric race, was quite simple. They massacred all the Kotati on Hala and on the planetoid. Thinking they had solved the problem of who would represent Hala, they went to the Skrull delegation and offered their solution. The Skrulls, being a peaceful race, were appalled by the actions of the Kree and decided that nobody would ever set foot on Hala and that Hala would be deemed a planet not worthy of inclusion to the Skrull Empire. The Kree were outraged by this and true to their nature, they killed all the Skrulls on Hala, taking over the landing ships that the Skrulls brought with them. In doing this, they took over the technology and began developing technology of their own along the lines of the, what they discovered from the Skrulls. Due to the distance between Hala and the Skrull homeworld, it took many decades before the Skrulls became aware of what had happened to their delegation on Hala. When they went out to search for them, they were met by the Kree, who had advanced in their technology so far that they were able to mount an offensive against the Skrull. Little did they know, however, that in doing so, the Kree were actually creating their own worst enemy. The Skrulls became more and more militaristic and developed weapons and shape-shifting abilities further in order to bring the fight back to the Kree. This resulted in a long war of over a thousand years. And it was in this time, a thousand years later, after the initial conflicts began, that Ronan the Accuser rose to power on Hala. He finally took over the command of the Kree homeworld from the Supreme Intelligence. With Ronan at the helm of Hala, the animosities ignited more fiercely than they had ever before. 
It was at this time that the scrolls found out about a Cree refugee being locked away on Earth. They dispatched a super scroll to go to Earth and try and apprehend this Cree deserter. Little did they know that this Cree was Captain Marvel, who was a member of the Avengers at that time. He was born Cree but had nothing left to do with the society or his home world. The Super Skrull attacked Marvel and tried to kidnap him back to the Skrull homeworld. However, the Avengers interfered, and this led to a major battle at the Antarctic between the Avengers, a couple of rogue Inhumans, the Force of S.H.I.E.L.D., a Kree sentry bot sent to apprehend Captain Marvel and legions of scrolls. It was at this time that the Supreme Intelligence came to the front once again. He communicated with Rick Jones, an ally of the Avengers, and told him that Rick possessed an immense psychic ability. Harnessed by the Supreme Intelligence, Rick Jones used his ability to freeze all the combatants into place and try to stop the hostilities this way. The Supreme Intelligence told the Kree and the Skrull that they were genetic dead ends, that they would never evolve further than the point they were at now, warlike and bent on conquest. On the other hand, humans had, met, had much potential and would evolve further. This brought an end to the major hostilities between the Kree and the Skrull. Now if you liked that video, I hope you give it a like, uh, share it with your friends, it does help us grow. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, that's always helpful. And we'll see you all next time. Goodbye.